Good morning. Good morning. Welcome to worship here at Grace in Tavistock. We are so happy to see every one of you here today. We'll turn our attention to some of the announcements. We are all welcome downstairs for a time of refreshments. Uh, in Zion Hall, it's cheese and loaves today, so it's lovely. It's a nice lunch for me, so I'm happy with that. Uh, we are always looking for uh, volunteers for that uh, little service that we do, so please sign up on the sheet in the window downstairs. It's a green sheet. You cannot miss it. Uh, next Sunday, we have Josh Penfold back to lead worship with us uh, in, uh, on the 23rd. And just a couple of other little announcements that uh, I have. Um, from my world, uh, the Camp Bimini Cleanup Day is on Saturday, on the 22nd, from 9 till 12. Uh, bring your family, bring your friends, bring your rakes, bring your gloves, whichever you need to work, please bring it, and we'll provide you with a little bit of soup for your, your tummy on the way out. Uh, and uh, just to make sure everyone is aware, uh, we received news this week that Reverend Jason Richards passed away on Thursday evening, uh, peacefully in hospital. Uh, Mary and I went and visited Young on uh, Friday afternoon and found her at home, surprisingly. I thought we would have to do a goose chase around St. Mary's, but uh, we found her and uh, we gave her lots of hugs and prayers and uh, let her know that we are all with her in this time. Uh, the uh, arrangements have been uh, posted and we will email them all out to everyone probably tomorrow or Tuesday uh, along with uh, Young's address to send a card to. Uh, she gave us permission to give that out so we will give that out over an email and such. Uh, the visitation will be on April the 27th, so a week and a bit away at uh, St. Mary's United Church, and the funeral will be on the 28th at 11 o'clock from the church. The funeral will be officiated by Jason's mentor from Saskatchewan, uh, so a special time for um, a difficult but special time for him. The service will be live streamed as well on the St. Mary's United Church Facebook page uh, that day. Uh, in lieu of flowers, um, it has been asked that, an edu that donations be made to an educational fund for Lincoln. Uh, and the details will be in the obituary that we send out uh, uh, early in this week. Mary and I talked in the car what we needed to do as Grace United Church to support Young. And we're gonna leave it to you, what we think we need to do. So over coffee this afternoon or right after the service, chat up some ideas and we can try to make them happen. If you would like to do a, a card all together, we can make that happen. If you would like to do something for the educational fund, we can try to do something. The two of us didn't want to make that decision. And so we're throwing it to you guys as what you guys need to do um, to remember Jason. Um, most of you probably never met Jason. He was here one Sunday with her and with his parents. Um, I got to be lucky to work with him at camp. and. Uh, if you ever want to feel his, his energy, just watch his services. They are alive and wonderful, and uh, he will be missed. Any other announcements that need to come? Wonderful. Well, Grace United Church acknowledges that we stand on the ancestral land of the Huron, Anishinaabe, and Chippewa indigenous nations. For 5,000 years, it was traditional fishing and hunting grounds. Through the Huron Track Treaty of 1827, it was ceded to early settlers. We will do our best to uphold the promise to take care of the land 
and to live in respect and understanding with our indigenous brothers and sisters. And we light that Christ candle to remind us that Christ is among us always. And we are reminded that wherever two or three are gathered, he is there. We're going to sing that little chorus. It's in More Voices number 14, where two or three are gathered. It's a quick chorus, and we're going to sing it four times through. And after the first time... The choir is going to do a little something, but we're going to keep singing it, okay? It's just a lovely gathering song. Join with me in the call to worship. Come into this place for reflection. Come into this time for prayer. Come into this space for worship. Come 
come and be nourished by the fellowship we share and the movement of the Spirit of God in our midst. We lift up in worship the presence of Christ for us and for others. Jesus Christ brings light and love to the world. May we seek justice, resist evil, and affirm wholeness as we continue on our journey. Thanks be to God. And let us stand and sing together hymn 402, We Are One. Shall we join in the opening prayer? Gather us together, great spirit. Fill your hearts here with goodness, your worship with creativity, your world with new possibilities, and your church with promised gifts. Gather and fill us, great spirit, in these days of spring and new beginnings with all those things you have stored up for us. God of many names, we confess before you and one another. We turn people into objects so we do not have to acknowledge their humanity. We know from experience that not only sticks and stones hurt, but words can hurt us too. We pray that we may feel so loved by you that we use only names that encourage, strengthen, and inspire. Us. 
We ask this in the blessed name of Jesus. Amen. Instead of the burden of guilt, God offers the gift of grace. We are called forgiven. Let's live as forgiven, grace-filled children of God. When Jesus came to his disciples during Easter, he greeted them saying, peace be with you. And so I invite you to greet one another with those same words, peace be with you. Edna would play it. (laughs) As we're making our way back to our pews, we're going to sing, It's My Hymn that uh, that I learned in piano lessons so many years ago. (laughs) Uh, From the Blue Hymnary, though, not from Voices United at the time. Uh, And my piano teacher always tapped on my shoulder. I've told some people this. She would always tap on my shoulder uh, the whole time, and she would sing into my ear. She was our church organist as well. So a little shout-out to Edna Holman uh, for teaching me this song. And I am told Marilyn's playing this with great gusto. So uh, (laughs) let us sing Jesus Bids Us Shine, 585. was almost as much gusto as Edna had. (laughs) Only when I would practice, I would do a big finish at the end. I didn't for her. I invite the kids down today.
are very quietly coming down to the front. Girls on this side, boys on this side. Grandma. Grandma doesn't matter. You know what I mean. I got a ball of yarn with me today. Guess what today is? We're going to learn how to crochet. No, I didn't bring enough hooks. But I need you to stand up in a circle here. Maybe we'll go over to this side, away from the flames. The fire marshal was here this week, I hear. He was doing a little spiel. All right. So we're going to throw the ball of yarn to each other. OK, toss. But as if you, when you catch it, you're going to grab hold of some of it and throw it to another person. Think we can do that? We got it? OK. Grandma will catch for you. Or maybe you catch for Grandma. All right, I'll, I'll throw it to you first, Holden, OK? No, Grandma's going to catch. Hold a piece, and you toss it to somebody else. Austin. Hold on to it. Now Austin's going to throw it to someone. And he's going to hold on. Good. OK, we're going to go across the circle here a couple times. There's a reason why we have to go across the circle. And then, oh, I let go. And then Price, can you give it to me again? Great. Oh, you got to hold on to it yet? Yep. Now I'm going to pass it to Farah. She's going to hold on to a piece of it. And then pass it back. Oh, awesome, it's underneath. OK. And then we're going to pass it over there. Great. And then I'll take, oh, I'm running out of fingers, though. All right, so what do we have here? What does it look like? A bit like a spider web. So. Now, what happens when I pull this? What happens? What happened, Olivia? You're pulling. So whatever I do affects you, right? Oh, what if I pull this one? Oh, it affected Holden. OK, Haley, how about you pull yours? Anybody feeling that pull? Oh, I am. So whatever you do affects me. Right? Huh. OK, so Price just let go. What happened now? Like, what? look it, I have lots of slack. I have all she has. Hmm. So anything we do affects other people. <laughs> right? And Jesus told us that. He said, love other people as I have loved you. So love other people. And do kind things to each other, not bad things to each other. I'm getting some feedback. So we have to remember that this week. Whatever we do affects other people. So when we, we do something to hurt somebody, you say, ow. That's right. It hurts other people. So we have to think about that. Think about what your good actions are going to be this week. Can we do that? Awesome. OK, we're just going to let it drop. And I'll clean it up later. <laughs> or Holden can do a little bit. So before we go, we're going to exchange blessings to each other. So I want you to look around at somebody else in the room, get their eyes, preferably in the somebody not at the front. Somebody in the choir, maybe somebody up there, somebody back there. And you guys repeat after me. May God bless you, God bless you. As, you stay as you stay 
to hear God's word. And the congregation, you repeat after me, may God bless you as you leave hear God's word. Awesome. You guys are all off to Sunday school. Thanks for helping out. Join me in prayer. Loving God, we come into your presence today. We are filled with your words and seek silence. We are filled with questions and seek peace. We are filled with doubt and seek faith. We are filled with tiredness and seek rest. May your word be with us, with this and more for us today. Amen. first gospel reading is Luke 10:30 30 to 37 from the Common English Bible. Who is my neighbor? A man went down from Jerusalem to Jericho. He encountered thieves who stripped him naked and beat him up and left him <clears throat> near death. Now it just so happened that a priest was also going down the same road when he saw the injured man. He crossed over to the other side of the road and went on his way. Likewise, a Levite came by that spot, saw the injured man, and crossed over to the other side of the road and went on his way. A Samaritan, who was on a journey, came to where the man was, but when he saw him, he was moved with compassion. The Samaritan went to him and bandaged his wounds, tending them with oil and wine. Then he placed the wounded man on his own donkey took him to gospel an inn and took care of him. The next day he took two full days worth of wages and gave them to the innkeeper. He said, take care of him. And when I return, I will pay you back any additional costs. What do you think? Which one of these was a neighbor to the man who encountered thieves? Then the legal expert said, the one who demonstrated mercy toward him. Jesus told him, go and do likewise. Whoever welcomes you welcomes me, and whoever welcomes me welcomes the one who sent me. Whoever welcomes a prophet in the name of a prophet will receive a prophet's reward. And whoever welcomes a righteous person in the name of the righteous person will receive the reward of the righteous. And whoever gives even a cup of cold water to one of these little ones in the name of a disciple. Truly, I tell you, none of these will lose their reward. In these words, then, there is good news. Thanks be to God. The first reflection this morning is entitled, The Offering of Self. Offering, giving, sharing. We are encouraged to give of ourselves to better others, our community, and ourselves. How we approach the acts of gifting and what attitude we bring may reveal our inner strengths and or weaknesses. As a pastor, I have noted the awkwardness exhibited when we even begin the discussion about giving. The worst jokes about going to church surround the practice of collecting offerings. Maybe where the money and the motivation hit the road we find the source of the all too stilted humor. Or perhaps it is the fact that spiritual and material matters do not seem to mix naturally in the human psyche. 
As offering humor goes, I would expect you to have heard references to people making change in the offering plate, slipping in or out of worship before the collection is received, and so on. My favorite feature is the little boy giving his offering personally at the door. When asked why he had not put it in the plate, he replied his dad had said this minister was the poorest we have ever had, and the child hoped to help him out with his gift. How often I have wondered when a little one was going to slip a dime in my palm. Offering, giving, sharing. The whys and hows are confusing to the seasoned saint and the inquiring novice alike. Is giving an act of obligation or celebration? Is sharing a normal human desire fulfilled or a learned virtue to be developed? Reflect on the following poem and consider. Do you give your best, your first fruits to God and to others? Offerings, giving of self, returning the given, sharing the gift, offering the living. Each day a dawning, a moment to respond. Thanks formed in wonder, graciousness in kind. Walking beside the giver, longing to live in love, dedicating our being to the author from above. Welcoming the treasure, talents growing within, passing on the promise, hopes await to begin. Gifting lives in service, tribute great and small, asking nothing in return, the bounties in the call. Giving, offering, sharing. The joy is always true. Receiving, returning, rewarding, the giver alive in you. One of my favorite Jesus stories is often called the Good Samaritan. I like to simply call it the tale of the four travelers. In responding to a question by a community leader about eternal life, Jesus invites the questioner to discern which traveler is most neighborly. The story tells of a victim of a mugging being ignored by religious folk on their way to do God's work and how an unlikely stranger offers help. The fourth traveler is an outcast, a foreigner. His generosity of time, compassion, and personal material wealth are living symbols of the gift of giving. What the fourth traveler offered, which was most precious, was himself. It is apparent to the inquirer and to any listener who the true neighbor is. Jesus urges each of us to do likewise as we love God and each other. As people of faith, we are to love God and with all our heart, soul, strength, and mind, and to love our neighbor as ourself. The Samaritan demonstrates the power of love in action. His simple gifts and sincere offering become the truth worth sharing, the gift to pass along. Remember, one person's generosity can change a life and bring healing to a broken world. We will now sing verses one, two, and three of We Are Pilgrims on a Journey, and please remain seated.
The second gospel reading is taken from Luke 6, 27 to 31 and 35 to 36 from the easy to read version, Love Your Enemies. But I say to you people who are listening to me, love your enemies. Do good to those who hate you. Ask God to bless the people who ask for bad things to happen to you. Pray for the people who are mean to you. If someone hits you on the side of the face, let him hit the other side too. If someone takes your coat, don't stop them from taking your shirt too. Give to everyone who asks you for something. When someone asks something that is yours, don't ask for it back. Do for others what you want them to do for you. I'm telling you to love your neighbors and do good to them. Lend to people without expecting to get anything back. If you do this, you will have a great reward. You will be children of the Most High God. Yes, because God is good to even to the people who are full of sin and not thankful. Give love and mercy the same as your Father gives you love and mercy. In these words, there is good news. Thanks be to God. The second reflection is called Pass It On. I read a story years ago about a man whose car ran out of gas. A passing motorist stopped, dug a battered red can of gas out of his trunk and gave it to the author without any charge. The only condition was that he had to pass it on in turn to someone else who needed it. So the writer of the story did, with the same condition. Good fortune must be shared, not hoarded. The can must be passed on. Of course, years later, the same motorist ran out of gas again. And of course, another came to his aid. And to his amazement, he was given back the same old gas can, considerably more battered but by now, but undeniably the same one. More recently, I saw a similar kind of story in a church magazine. When the author went to his car in the parking lot, he found that his gas tank cap was missing. His first thought was that someone had swiped it. So he bought himself a locking gas cap. That'll fix them, he thought. But later, he began thinking about two kinds of worlds. The kind where he had to keep everything under lock and key, and the kind where everyone was willing to share. Wouldn't it be much better, he thought, if he saw someone without a gas cap to share whatever he had, even his own gas cap, knowing that someone else would do the same for him. That's the kind of world Jesus was talking about when he gave his disciples the great commandment, love others as I have loved you, he said. Pass it on, he was saying. Don't try to hoard the good things. They're not yours to keep. That applies to our time as well as our possessions. Sometimes my wife Joan asks me why I let people take advantage of me. Some of them may never repay me. I can't answer her question. All I can reply is that I don't really have a choice. All through my life, people have done good turns for me. Sometimes I haven't realized it at the time. Perhaps they themselves may not have realized what they were doing for me. Others are long out of touch. 
Some have already passed away. So I have to do the next best thing. I have to pass it on. Someday, like the gas can, some good that I have done for somebody may come back to me. But if it doesn't, well, all that really matters is that they pass it on to. Let us now sing verses 1, 5, and 6 of We Are Pilgrims on a Journey. You may remain seated. <laughs> We have heard about sharing and about giving ourselves. And whether you've given through PAR, e-transfers, or on the plates at the doors, or whether it's your talents and your time and your knowledge, we are grateful. And so let us dedicate and give thanks for those gifts together. Let us dedicate these gifts together with the words on the screen. May the words of our mouths and the meditation of our hearts be examples of your love, God of all. May the work of our hands and the meanderings of our minds be filled with grace, not only for ourselves, but for all the world. Amen. Morning. Today is the beginning of Earth Week, April 16 to 23. It is a time to think about God's precious Earth, the harm we are doing to it, and what we do, can do to change the destructive path we are on. If you are like me, you often wonder what we, as one person, can do to alleviate the many environmental problems. But it is so important that each of us knows that our little drop in the bucket can do much. Not use so much water, not run our stopped cars just to keep us comfortable in the air conditioning, not to use chemicals to have that perfect lawn. The list is endless and we are all guilty. Today we are going to hear how each of us, with our mission and service dollars, has partnered with the Canadian Food Grains Bank and the Mennonite Central Committee to better the life and the land of an Ethiopian farmer. I can't help but think if he can make the effort with his limited resources, so can we. Uh. 
ሰላም እንደምናደራችሁ እንኳን መጣችሁልን ስሚ ሀብታም ይባላሉ ያው አርሶ አደርነኝ በእያችኋለሁ በርሻ ሰብል ነው መተዳደር Habtamu and his family live in Ethiopia. They've changed their lives through a conservation agriculture program supported by mission and service partner Canadian Food Grains Bank. Arsha yo qadam misil zumblo begaw mul arsha ne yinor yenebere. Qadam ne bedersku besat beqa denenya gebere sibal 12 tzi yabunno ne misedu. 12 tzi arswal kezi yazinab sitilbet qalaltwal ትንሽ የጎርፍ ነው አማምቶ ይዞት ይሄድ የነበረ አሁን ዝም ብሎ ልባስ ብቻ ነው የሚያስፈልገው አባቲ የሚሰጠኝ የተገጋጠ በቃላ አብቅልለት ብሎ የተገጋጠ ነበር ያራጥ ማድመር ይቶች አሉ እነሱ የዛን ጊዜ እስቀበላቸው እቀባርሻ ማለት ምን ማለት ነው ዝም ብሎ በገሙላ ከማረስ ልባስ ማልመስ ነው መሬቱ ሰብሉን አንስቶ ቅሬት ሰብሉን እዚው ማልበስ ነው አልብሶ ለጣይ ለዝናብ አለማጋለጥ ነው conservation agriculture techniques that have tamu learned reduce soil erosion improve fertility and increase productivity they've had an incredible impact on his family and community ሰሜታሽ ነው ያው ታሙ ባለ ቤት ነኝ ሲተማ ነው እየተቸገርን የነበር እየተራብ እየተቸገር ነበር አሁን ወደ 8 ወደ 9 አመቱ ነው በስራው ላይ ይዋለ አፈሪት እነዚህ ወመሪቱ ይዋለ ከዚያቸው ተተንሽዋ ብዙ ጊዜ ያገኘን እየተሻል ይመጣል ተራፈር ፈጋ ለሻችን ግብያ የተቻለን እየወጣን እየደፈን ቸጋራችን እየፈቀድ ነው ያለ ጉተራ ነው የቀለባችን መሰብሰቢያ ጉተራ ነው ቀደም ምንም አንድ ሁለቱ ጉተሮች ነበር የሚኖሩ እንዲሁም ተገበያ በቆሎ የሸምጥኩ ልጆች ለማሳደግ ነበር አሁን እህል ያስቀመጥኩ ያቆዩ በተነሳ ጊዜ እየሸጡ Your generosity through mission and service supports the Canadian Food Grains Bank It's one of the many ways your gifts help end hunger invite you into a time of prayer God of grace, we give thanks for your presence here today in this worship. We know that wherever we are gathered, you are here. We thank you for the ministry of Grace United Church. We are all individuals, but we are one church. Thank you for all who work in this place that calls us to act on your word. We pray that you be with us and guide us in caring for everyone, in building new relationships, in rebuilding our community of faith in this time of transition. Help us to trust. Help us to be as Christ to each other. 
Your beautiful world surrounds us, creator God. We see and feel your presence in daffodils and hyacinths, in sunshine, in wind, in waters, soil and rocks, seeds, creatures of the sea, air and land. Thank you for your creation. May we care for it all. Help us to be servants and stewards of all creation. We ask for your continued presence within all creation. For our first responders and military personnel who serve us. For those around this world who suffer the devastation of war. For those around this world and in our community for whom the day started in hunger and have nowhere to live. For those whose family are struggling with a mental health or addiction. For those who are left out or ignored because they are considered different. For those who are lonely and heavy burdened. For those who grieve loved ones and start at this day wishing they could turn back the clock. This morning, God, we especially pray for your continued presence with Keith, Brian, Brenda, Jackie, Ken. And we pray your gentle hand with all those who care for them. Holy God, we lift to you Young, Lincoln, Bruce, Marg, and the family and friends of Jason Richards. We lift up the family of St. Mary's United Church in this sad time. Help us to be an Easter people, remembering the hope and the light that came after the darkness. Help us to hold the Christ light for all. O oh God, as we go to our homes and our work this coming week, we ask you to send the Holy Spirit into our lives. Open our ears that we may hear what you are saying to us in the things that happen to us and in the people we meet. Open our eyes that we may see the needs of the people around us. Open our hands that we may do work well and help when help is needed. Open our lips that we may tell the good news of Jesus and bring comfort, happiness, and laughter to others. Open our minds that we may discover the new truth, that we may discover new truth about you and the world. Open our hearts that we may love you and others as you have loved us. In the name of the servant king, we pray all these things. Amen. Our closing hymn this morning is for more voices 154, Deep in Our Hearts.
join with me. We gathered to absorb love and we go forth to love. We gathered to be inspired and we leave to inspire. We gathered for a service and we go forth to be of service. We gather to connect with truth and go forth to live our truth. And before we do our song response there, um, it was requested by Jason uh, that we do something nice for someone unexpectedly and without explanation. Unexpectedly and without explanation. And Jason finished every service he led and planned with these words. So I leave you with those words today. Friends, God loves you, and there's nothing you can do about it. God looks down upon you each and every day and loves you. Know it in here, feel it in here, and live it out there. Because, and this is the part you repeat after me, God is good. God is good. All the time. All the time. All the time. God is good. God is good. Amen.